What's up, YouTube? This is all things quick. Back with another video, so check this out. This truck is my mom's neighbor's truck. The guy that owned this truck actually passed away, Ooh. and I asked his wife if there was anything that she wanted to do with this truck, and so she said, yeah, I just want to get rid of it, and if you want to have a look at it, maybe you want it, and so I had a look at this thing. Only thing this thing needs is some rocker panels, and it needs a windshield, and it needs something with the ABS, super jittery in the brakes, but also also, there's a topper on this thing. It's an eight foot box, so this is nice. But it has this thing here, the window for this. So I need to fix that and see what was wrong with that. I don't know. But the struts, or one of the struts is still here. I don't know about the other one, but either way, I'm gonna get that fixed up. But I just bought this thing for 400 bucks. Just gonna pull this over to my mom's house. I'm gonna park this for now. So this is now my new truck. I just figured it'd be a good thing for work and stuff because of the eight foot box. It's a single cab, which isn't like my favorite favorite thing about this but you know what it is what it is so yeah for 400 bucks can't really complain this is a 2006 GMC Sierra yeah it's in pretty good condition actually the guy before he died he was still driving this truck it still starts oh battery wasn't about to go there the alternator is good I know that so it's charging above 14 so that's good news engines running oil pressure coolants not overheating uh, this is the first thing to go that's weird um, yeah so this is it I actually you know what I'm pretty happy with this purchase I was thinking at the beginning maybe I'm just gonna flip this truck but I think I'm gonna actually keep it for myself honestly I, th I think I'm gonna so I'm just gonna pull this over to my mom's right now and then uh, go get my paperwork all right there we go so I'm back at my mom's now which is literally right across the street which is nice I'm gonna take the plates off this thing I just don't have tools with me right now but I'm gonna get the plates off get those back to the lady and I mean literally the drive like there's my wife's car right there so like drive is actually right across the street so that's good but I actually promised my mom that I wasn't gonna park any more vehicles here or have any more stuff here other than like a couple parts in the back there some parts from the parts car want to check that video out to the parts car getting stripped down check it out I'll leave a link right here but yeah I got the parts car out of here I said I'm never gonna park stuff here again don't worry about it and next thing you know I got another truck here but I'm only keeping it here for a day I'm gonna come back tomorrow and then I'll continue on with this video about like actually getting into what this truck is about and what it needs and showing you underneath and all that stuff and so like this is a work truck see that dent right there this is gonna be a work truck only for work so I can actually drive my f-150 and keep it nice and detail the inside and actually enjoy it for a normal family type vehicle which is awesome really happy about that the eight-foot box is gonna be flipping awesome for hauling dirt bikes next season so this is a good thing to have anyways we'll get back to this tomorrow I'm gonna get all my paperwork done and then we'll be back right after this. Now it's a new day. We're back here. This is the next day and basically I got plates for this thing so that's good news. I'm gonna get those ones off. I don't have a screwdriver but I do have a drill so I'm gonna take those off real quick. Then I'm going to move this truck back. I'm gonna leave it here for now. I'm just gonna move it back and out of the way. I'm going out of town like four hours away. I'm gonna take this thing here. This is a this is a Mercury that my mom has and yeah this car is super cozy, super nice, really comfortable and interior super comfortable interior and uh, yeah I'm gonna go out of town this weekend with that thing just so then I can have a decent drive you know the suspensions nice on this thing it's like a boat it floats around it's sweet so I'm gonna get this car out of here I'm gonna park my f-150 right there push this truck back and then take this car out and get these plates on but I will be getting this truck to my shop soon so when I do that then I'll film the rest of that but and then actually digging into it but this thing is plated and insured now so that's good news So just got the plates on so that truck is officially mine. Well, it was before, but now it's plated in my name, so that's good news. This is going to be logistical madness moving these things around, but I'm going to get that done. All 
All right, so that was actually like a, probably about a two and a half hour thing. I ended up going home because I was gonna take my kid home with the Grand Marquis, but the car seat doesn't fit and there's no mounting points for it in there. So I ended up having to go home in the F-150, drop off my girl, get everything ready for the weekend and then come back here. So I got my F-150 parked here, got my the GM parked there for now. I'm leaving that until I get back from my trip over the weekend. And then later we're gonna get into it and see what this truck actually needs and maybe actually start working on it just to get it like you know decent so so the stuff like these rocker panels here the guy before had literally just cut them right out so I'm gonna have to get in there you gonna have to cut those cut out the rust order some new ones weld them up get it all done and then slap some bondo on it and then done deal but yeah there's just a few things that are wrong with this thing like I showed in the beginning of the video but anyways this is my truck it's a good addition and you know it's not even that much more on insurance it's like it's actually far less than double I thought it was gonna be like double what this is is, but with the multi-vehicle discount and my driving record which has been clean for almost four years now which is like insanely impressive for for me i used to get tickets like every couple of months right yeah it's easier driving a truck and not getting tickets than driving a boosted drift car you know with a turbo sticking out of the hood you definitely a heat score driving something like that anyways with that being said this is the end of the video if you like that video definitely hit that like button let me know down in the comments what you thought of this truck what you think about it overall and how you think it's gonna run over time and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and definitely don't forget to hit us up on our discord server the link is in the description we'll see you in the next one see you later yeah so let's just take a real quick look at this thing i know i ended the video but like man this thing is crazy it's just so nice like these cars man they're just boats they're huge Look at the interior here, massive thing. Like this thing's probably like 20 feet long, massive. It's like, it's like a flipping truck. But yeah, it's gonna be a nice cozy ride on the way there. Just overall, like extremely comfortable. I just pulled in the yard here and I'm like, man, when I got my mom this car, I was like, I actually wanted it for myself. But you know, that would be my fleet of cars right now, plus the BMW, so I don't need it. But anyways, see you in the next video. See you later.